All right, today's video, we're gonna talk about how to make a perfect backswing, one you can put on your refrigerator. If you haven't already done so, click the subscribe button. You'll be eligible to win comment of the week. You'll get some cool swag from us. All you gotta do is subscribe. Only subscribers win and you'll be in the cool club. Very nice. All right, so let's talk about backswing. So uh -huh. the, the concept behind a good backswing, right? Nobody hits the ball on the backswing, hopefully, but the backswing, again, because of the time issue involved, makes the downswing either more difficult or harder. Uh -huh. That's the same thing, more difficult or harder. More difficult or easier. Exactly right, I know what you're trying to say. Less hard. That's right. <laughs> so, what do we look for as far as the club movements in what we'll call the perfect pack swing? Okay, perfect. So, I've got a club here. I, I use it for teaching some. I drove a alignment stick down in it. Mm -hmm. And I just use it as a, a pointer, basically. So, yeah. it gives a pretty good reference point to the angle of the club because people lose track of it when their hands are on it and covering and up. We've had students actually put little laser pointers in the butt of their club so they can see it. All, all those things are going to accomplish the same thing. Same thing. So we've also got a plane board here that's helpful during lessons. Just mm -hmm. I love visual references because people connect more when they see things than they do just words. Right. So we have got two visual references here. So a dress plane, um, the club's just sitting at a, basically a seven iron angle. Right. And as you swing back, it's going to pitch the club so the pointer is pointed somewhere near the target line, maybe just parallel to this mm -hmm. original plane or even the elbow plane mm -hmm. that we talk about a lot, mm -hmm. right? So that's kind of the first step is swinging back and getting this club to flip to where this end is pointed at the ground right. as opposed to this other. This so end let's do that again mm -hmm. and I'll kind of show you the windows. So we don't want to get super this way with it right? and we don't certainly want to have it pointing down in this way. We mm -hmm. want it kind of right there right on the ball target line. Absolutely, and the reason we like that, we've talked about it a lot, if I change direction here, I can easily hit a golf shot. That's right, because the, the higher up you go in golf, the more off-speed shots, the more three-quarter shots you're gonna have to play to continue to excel. And the less manipulations you have to do from these shorter swings, the better it's gonna be. So if you can set the club right there at that left arm parallel spot, the downswing gets super easy. I mean, guys, we, I think we're tending a lot of times to make this more complicated than right. it is. Get the club to swing on a plane. We talk about in a lot of videos, the elbow plane line is a great reference point. Yep. Get it to swing on a plane with a good grip and a square club face. I don't want it here and then, you know, have it wide open, right? right. So at that point in the swing, you're, if you have a pretty neutral grip, the left wrist will be pretty flat. You'll already be basically bent back with your right hand. So for all intents and purposes, Mike, would you say the back swing pretty much over here as far as arm structure and wrist movement? Yeah, as far as organizing the club, you, sh you should have it pretty much done by this point. I'd say this is the key right here. I tell people all the time, if you can get it figured out to here, a little bit of finish and a little bit of pivot down, yes. you've got yourself a golf swing. So people get overly complicated with this. Learn how to set it here. I spent one whole winter when I was a kid. I grew up in Maine, there's snow banks everywhere in the middle of the winter. I got it upstairs in a full length mirror. I put a black piece of tape yes. on the plane line and I did it every day till I couldn't do it wrong. I'd play. I played, I come out in the fall. I mean, I, was, <laughs> I got, finally got the scratch that year. I was 12, 13 years old. Right, just so, by organizing the backswing. Trying to figure out the plane on the backswing. Yes. So set it here, use a pointer if you need to. Practice, we're going into the winter now. That's what right. a great time to work on this and get yourself organized with the plane and, and the club face, right? If you did nothing else this off season, but get this half backswing organized, you're, you're gonna be shape. so far ahead of the game when it comes springtime to start pulling the clubs back out. Absolutely. Conversely, if this first half of the backswing is unorganized and the club's all over the place, then you gotta really kick in that athleticism just to try to manage the club on the downswing. Absolutely, and you know, we'll take it a little step further to the top. From down the line, a good window, Mike, would you say the left arm kind of covering the right shoulder? Yes. A little higher, a little lower, maybe okay. Right. but. No severities where you're way up yeah. and way below. Just some plain vanilla in this window. Of That's exactly right. And exactly. one of the drills we like to do is I'll have players feel that is let's go to this this checkpoint, this left arm parallel. Mm -hmm. Everything's on plane. Mm -hmm. Club, everything's on plane. Mm -hmm. I want the golfer just to feel like it's a small chest turn from here. There we go. Boom. That's it. And that, that eliminates any late lifting late or lift. kind of lowering or anything that could happen. If you just say, okay, my arm swing's pretty much done here. I've done about half of my chest turn. Right. I mean, that's, that would be the sequence part of it. You know, we can see in gears, 
At this point in the swing, the tour players haven't used up all their rotation. That's right. They're saving some of it. Yes. We all know some players that have overturned early, and now they're going to have a late lift. So we get that sequence that when the chest stops turning, the arms are still going. No one likes that in their swing. This is going to really train you to get all of these things stopping at the same time. So and let's just show them face on what we're talking okay, about. Okay, absolutely. So here we go face on. The stick's going to make it a little awkward, so I'll just put it off to the left here a little. Yep. Okay, so swinging the club head back, getting some arm motion. Yep. Swinging the arms. I've Everything's left. right on plane there. Yep, and I've got about half of my rotation yep. I've used up at this point. Yep. It's under. It's not talked about enough, but I think that's a huge <clears> key. <throat> when the left arm is parallel, you don't want to have all your rotation used up. Because you're just going to be left with an arm lift. That's right. So here, I've got a little bit of left in the tank as far as the turn. Like Mike said, just a little more pivot, and then I can go. Yes. Right? And it's, it's just I just have my guys feel a chest turn. And the first thought is, oh my gosh, I'm never going to hit it anywhere doing that. Then the second thought is, oh my gosh, I can't believe how far that went. Every single time yeah. you do it in a lesson, every time. It's like you watch great boxers, then you watch kind of street brawlers where they're just flailing mm -hmm. away. These great boxers, they're really tight, really concise with their movements. That's what you're going to feel in the golf swing doing this. A absolutely right. And again, from this angle, if you were going to do the drill Mike and I talked about, set it. Get it pointed somewhere near the ball line, right? Mm -hmm. You want to be real sure. The one thing that can throw this completely off track is the wrist angle. Sure. We've got some videos with hack motion yes. to show this. But if you have a basic grip, a couple knuckles showing here, yep. right hand on there in a fairly neutral position with the V kind of over in the right side of your body here somewhere, and you take that back, your left wrist is going to be pretty flat, your right's going to be pretty bent in the face. If I held it this way, it's going to either match the form or be a little bit turned away. Right, exactly right. Right, so if you have good wrist position, for all intents and purposes, again, you're done about right here. A little extra motion, a little shift, and you're on your way. So think more of the backswing as setting up the downswing, right? Great pool players, they're always thinking steps ahead. And if you can get used to using the backswing as a means to set up the downswing, and by set up, not just mean the movements, we mean the least amount of movements possible you're gonna be much better for it. So again, get on plane, a little turn, and you're gonna be amazed at how much more concise and efficient that downswing starts to become. Absolutely.